Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are checking out the new Hollow Stars English Generation Armits and their debut song Bloodhounds. So I'm pretty excited to get into this. I was able to catch the debuts of all the talents, but I haven't heard any of their music yet. So I'm excited to jump in. Let's hit play in three, two, one, play. Okay. 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 So it looks like we're going for that kind of synth heavy, like boy band atmosphere. Um, I was a little nervous at the beginning because I was hearing a lot of vocal suppression, but it looks like we're lifting up, just kind of creating that juxtaposition with the vocal lift on a more clean vocal following. Okay. Okay, I like this. We, we've got like a, a solid synth foundation with some strings, and then we're just kind of looping that and shifting from vocalist to vocalist, letting each person get their own spotlight. Put on a show as we walk out the door. All the hate thrown at me, give me feel for my bow. Freak show! <laughs> Okay, we're not having a whole lot of like impact centric uh, vocals, but we're getting quite a bit on the instrumental side of things, though we're also mixing the vocals much higher than the instrumentals. So we're a little lacking on the impact on transitions, but we're still keeping that momentum up through the progression of the song. Oh, that is a clean voice right there. Okay. Okay, so uh, we, we, I think we're color coding the vocals for which vocalist is singing each part. Um, so I believe it's Gold Bullet who's singing like the green subtitles and uh, the real bassy low voice that we've got there. Um, th they treat his voice in like two very distinct ways. We, we get either this very clean bass vocal that's that's just it owns the mix and then we get this other very odd like it, it's it's not that the vocal is weird it's just that there's a lot of suppression on it that seems out of place with the relatively clean vocals we're getting from the other guys so uh I, i'm not sure why exactly i'm not sure if it's just like you know they're probably recording this all separately so maybe it's just different mics and they had to try to level that out and they use some suppression to kind of even out the vocal tracks but um it sounds a little off-putting but the bass vocal sounds really really good i really like his bass vocal right there, we're almost there. <laughs> that's nice i like that intonation we're almost there. <laughs> i like that oh we had a little rub there Nice. Okay. We're actually okay, so we're adding chorus progression through the synth, which I, I was completely expecting either like a guitar or strings because of how we were really introducing our main verses earlier on. But we're actually we we are using that synth and we've been, you know, having a very solid synth foundation through the entirety of the song so far, so it makes sense to have that synth progression, but I was not expecting the tempo switch up as well. So we're kind of backing up this uh, digital rhythm as well as that synth tempo switch up. Um, but I, I believe it's Octavio who has that like those clean vocals and it's pulling off those runs and stuff. I love that. I, I really love uh, how his voice sounds in here. And Ruse, I believe, is also setting up those runs for Octavio. So we have that Ruse building up and then we have octavio really getting those hard-hitting lines there um and i I'm, I'm really liking how these voices fit together i i think that there was a bit of odd mixing for gold bullet um but for those bass lines i really do like how they fitted his bass interjections there because that is fun and 
he's definitely got a, a voice that works really well as not only a color tone because of um just the tonal quality of his voice but also the in terms of like mixing he's got a very bassy voice as well so it's it, it definitely stands out and it's i'm hoping that they use his voice a little more in some more unique ways because that's a very hard voice to find Nice. Okay. <laughs> I like that falsetto there. Okay. I will say, I, I think, um, for that last line, I, I think they should have Ru uh, Ruse do that because Ruse has this natural, like, growl and raspiness to his voice that. When, when you're saying you're gonna know my name you want some aggression and some determination behind that and ruse has that naturally so i'm surprised that they used octavio i believe that was octavio's voice uh for that line but it still sounded good uh that was still very solid um so now i i do know that this is a like shortened like tv cut of the song they mentioned that in their streams so i'm going to be going to the full version in a little bit um, but just for this TV cut, I just kind of want to give my two cents and then we'll listen to the full version uh, in like a minute or two. So I, I, I like how we're composing this. Like I like the progression of the song. We're adding that tempo. We're adding the switch ups. The songs are never uh, getting like necessarily repetitive despite aiming for that catchiness. So that makes it very fun. It's a very fun song to get into. Um, I, I will say, you know, uh, I'm not a fan of like every single mix choice, obviously, uh, but overall, on like a like a macro scale, I, I'm I'm pretty impressed with how this is mixed, um, because obviously, you know, these are four very different voices that we're fitting into here, and so I, I'm very happy with how they sound together. They sound very good together. Um, I think the main ones that really stick out, like uh, I, I forget. Um, each one's names, I believe it was Rexford and Ruse. They have this kind of uh, ability, the, this natural rasp, growl, aggression that they can get in their voice, which is uh, really good for those like very determined lines and those like build up lines and stuff. But um, for those big choruses, Octavio really can shine through there with those big, just very skilled pitch control and just comfortable you can tell he's comfortable with his voice he knows how to control it and he's showing that off um gold bullet i think from the lack of lines that he has as well as um the like odd mix choices i i'm assuming he probably has a uh, like less singing experience or maybe he told them that he wasn't as comfortable with singing or uh, as familiar with singing or something like that um but i'm i'm hoping that he'll pick up that as he joins hollow stars english and gets more used to using his voice i hope that he gets more into singing and uh maybe even looks into like i don't know lessons or just practicing or karaoke streams or something like that i think that would be really cool to see how he uses his very unique uh vocal tonality um so yeah that was kind of my two cents over this tv cut but we are going to move on to the full version here um on I'm just going to use YouTube Music for this, and we have the Bloodhounds. This is like um, I believe this came out like shortly after they uploaded the TV cut. Uh, so we're just going to play this. It's like four minutes long. So the TV cut version was like, I believe, a minute, minute and a half, uh, two minutes. It was two minutes. Um, so we're going to hit this, and it'll be like double the length. So let's just hit play in three, two, one, play. All right. Let's get it started. Bang, bang, can you hear it coming? Okay. Bang, bang, can you hear it coming? With a revolution, are you ready? Here so I'm assuming this is just going to be the same as before. I'll get a chance to kind of listen to it again. Bang, bang. We're coming for your sound. Everybody watches us the moment that we... All right, so this is Ruse here. This is Octavio. Put on a show as we walk out the door. All the hate... I'm not sure who this is. That was cool, but back to Ruse. 
I like I like that breathiness thing. I have to say, you know, there's a lot of really good opportunities for just vocal juxtaposition with this assortment of voices we've got. Uh, especially, you know, uh, Octavio and Gold Bullet. I mean, they're just treble and bass, right? Yeah, you have a very clear juxtaposition duality there. But uh, with the Ruse, he's I, I I love Ruse's voice. He's just got this. I mean. As a metal fan, th he's got like the perfect voice to pull off like screams and just th th that like s very, it it's not all the way into a scream, but just that growl and that rasp and that aggression in your vocals. He's got the perfect voice for that. And uh, I, b I believe uh, Rexford as well, um, from what I remember from his debut, he can <laughs> pull off some screams as well. So I'd be interested in seeing how they handle more metal uh, focused genres. But um like there, there's some really, really nice vocal potential in this group that I'm very, very happy about. Okay, okay. So, I'm sorry for pausing so so much, but there's a lot to say about these. Um, there, there's some interesting mix choices where we have some insane, like an insane amount of like vocal suppression and digital effects on a vocal track. And then we immediately follow that up with like a clean track and it's not necessarily all the way clean you know there'll still be some vocal effects and pitch correction and stuff like that on the vocal track but relatively it's pretty clean and you can still hear all the inflections and the demeanors of the voice so having that like direct uh juxtapositions there normally you know if you've been watching you know that i'm not a huge fan of um, vocal suppression or digital effects on voices at least when they're just kind of there for long periods of time or just kind of thrown in there so i'm very happy about how it's being used here though at times it does uh feel a little oddly executed like there are times where i'm like you know it doesn't need to be <laughs> there doesn't need to be so much effect on this line um particularly gold bullets lines as i mentioned before um, at least when he is slightly higher in pitch than uh, the bassier lines. But overall, I I'd say the way that the song is progressing and we have this like alternating uh, progression, this alternating dynamic between uh, you know those vocally digitized uh, suppressed lines and the relatively clean and open lines, it's refreshing. It it's honestly very nice. I'm very happy about how that's being mixed in here. Like here, you can hear, right there, like we have that, I believe that was Ruse and then Gold Bullet, if I heard that correctly. Um, you, you can hear that suppression and then we go into Gold Bullet, which I believe was uh, relatively a clean vocal track, though obviously, you know, he does have a very bassy voice. So it eases into that, that clean track from the suppression very easily because it's not an overwhelming transition. So I, I believe the transitions to Octavio's vocals are a little more drastic because he has such an open, clean, just bombastic voice. So, you know, it's very much noticeable there. But it's still refreshing and it's still fun and it's still dynamic and it never feels like we're sitting on a, like suppression or on clean vocals. So we're, we're kind of just throwing in something for everybody here, which is generally what you kind of want for a debut group song, right? Because you want to attract everybody that you can. So I'm very impressed with this song so far. I love those interjections. The second one is a little off tempo, but it's still fun. Alright. Nice. Delayed reemergence of the percussion. Bringing more of those treble tonalities. Nice. I, I didn't I didn't notice that before, but we actually tease the falsetto before it comes in with those treble uh, lifts. So we have the synth lift, or at least yeah, I believe that was synth. that was the synth that lifted up high, and then we we kind of tease that falsetto coming in with the vocal tracks. Uh, which I didn't notice before. That's actually really nice. Alright. 
so uh, i believe this would be right where we cut off before so that segment what we've listened to so far is what we heard in the tv cut this should be all new to my understanding okay focusing more on the string track okay <laughs> I like that. Okay, so are we we're letting Gold Bullock have more of the of that spotlight there, and I like that. I like how he sounds there, um, and it, he sounds very majestic in that reverb, and that makes sense. He has that bassy tonality to his voice. He has that power behind his voice, and he's got that reverb. I mean, he's got the world in his hands right there. And then um, we actually had Ruse with more suppression than before. We actually had even more suppression on Ruse's voice leading into Gold Bullets, uh, which. Kind of makes sense because oh, not only is that a re like referencing our transition from before where we had that slight suppression on Ruse into Gold Bullet's interjection, now we've got like a solid line with even more suppression to emphasize the transition into Gold Bullet's line. So we're we're playing on the patterns that we've set up in the first half of the song, but we're dramatizing it. We're emphasizing the effects of those mix choices that we've made. Which is very, very nice. The streets where we unleash the beast once the dark takes over. It's bone appetite. Freak show, drain the game. Oh, yeah. Hiding inside. Freak show. Open in the cages tonight. Nice. I like that. We had the, uh, the layered vocals and then top took it, layered vocals, bottom took it. It's just these fun little mix choices and these fun little ways to switch things up and it reference like a mix choices we've made in the first half of the song and emphasizing those that's very very nice I, i'm very impressed with how this has been set composed mixed it's very very fun this is a very fun group song all right nice i like all right, it's about time for instrumentation switch up. Yep. Are we going to do the same cutout as before? Is that a new? That's a new percussive, I think. Okay. I like that. I'm glad they put Ruse on that. Alright. Nice. Alright. Oh, okay. Was not expected. The last thing I expected from this instrumentation was a woodwind accompaniment. Accompaniment? Accompaniment. That was a very odd <laughs> instrumentation choice, but let's see how they pulled it off. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I really like that vocal at the end of that uh, woodwind track. So the woodwind, not the instrument I would have chosen. Uh, I probably would have played off the strings that we were referencing earlier. I mean, we've been using so many strings, it would be perfect time to emphasize that orchestral accompaniment. But... <laughs> that was still pretty fun. I, I mean, I have to admit, that caught me off guard, and I'm going to remember that. So, uh, <laughs> props to the mix for that, or props to the tracks for that. Instrumentation for that. Nice interjection. All set up. Yep. Nice. Nice pulse. Trouble. Hold up. Nice. Okay, I am pretty I, I I'm pretty impressed with that. I actually really enjoyed that. Um 
And, you know, it's fun because you pick up on those little uh, elements in the mix. Like, uh, for example, you know, that that surge up high with the synth, You like the, the moment you hear that, you're like, okay, now we're going to get the falsetto part. And after falsetto part, we get the bass pulse. And after the bass pulse, we either transition or we have that cutout, like, at the end there. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, I, you know, I will say, you know, obviously I'm not, like, a huge fan of the more synth centric songs and like vocal effects and all that i'm I'm generally i I generally lean a lot more to the acoustic sounding stuff you know metal rock stuff like that but i'm still i'm still very impressed with this i I really enjoyed it um you know i i will say (laughs) there's some odd uh track choices here um but it, it came out really fun this was a really really nice project and I'm excited to see more from Armus. I hope they do more group songs like this. I know that um, it's probably not a cheap endeavor <laughs> to get all these people together for this and uh, m- mix all these different vocal vo- voices and vocal tracks. But I, I, I'm re- I really hope that they do more with uh, all four of them. And I'm excited to see what they do in Hollow Stars. So yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, feel free to recommend more things for me to check out in the channel. Sorry if I paused <laughs> a little overwhelmingly on this video, but there was a lot to talk about in this mix, and there were a lot of things that I wanted to point out that I kind of refrained from because I didn't want to like literally pause every two seconds. But uh, yeah, I hope it wasn't <laughs> too interjectory with my commentary. It was still uh, cohesive and enjoyable for all of you. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And feel free to subscribe if you want to see more reactions like this one. Aside from that, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much.